Hello everybody, welcome back, and I'm making a new video for my mental health series. I noticed I haven't done one since July, and that kind of sucks. I really would have done one during December, but a lot of people know very traumatic things happened to me in December. Uh, not this year, but in the past, and... That's why Christmas is a little, it's happy and troubling. So, that's why there were no videos then. Plus, I always feel I have to be in the right state of mind when commenting on anything that has to do with mental health. <laughs> and, yeah, everyone's, uh, let me preface this. With, I am not a professional. If you need professional help, please seek it. Talk to your primary care physician. Talk to a therapist you have. Um, there's even apps out there. I think one is called Better Life that Megan Ton just talked about. So, yeah. Um, there are resources. There are phone numbers. There's anything. So, please seek the help you need. Anyway, everyone's up in a roar about this whole piece of trash that is Logan Paul and I wanted to make a video on it but I kind of don't because I'm just I'm in the state of like anger and disgust and I just don't I don't condemn like I condemn his behavior and there's nothing more that I can say that would add to the conversation because so many people have talked about it and have done it way more eloquently than I can. Because all it does is make my blood boil and, like, look for videos by Megan Tonges. Look uh, for the Philip DeFranco's one. He did it. Uh, he did one. Uh, my... Two favorites were ones that were kind of just like a big F you were uh, Jackal and Glenn and um, the viewer's voice did some talks on it and it's they say how I feel inside like they're more the truth than people that will sit down and be like you know what this this and this Katie Morton did a good video and a lot of these people have expressed how I feel so I do not feel the need to express myself ever any further than to tell you to go watch those people. Go find creators that are worth watching instead of just concentrating on that one's bullshit. Um, another topic I wanted to talk about that... I wanted to bring up like a conversation nothing to do with any of the things that was happening with that person this is a totally separate story but I didn't the other day it came out that Carrie Underwood a week after hosting the CMAs had a very bad freak accident falling downstairs she broke her wrist and had to get 30 stitches in her face and she posted a picture on Instagram with basically a scarf all over her and her eyes peeking out and saying, look, I haven't been ready to show the world, blah, 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 but I may look a, a little different than you are used to. And that got me to thinking like how much she's the most beautiful woman in the world, one of them. And... How can that affect your psyche when you're known for your looks and uh, it you know they have dramatically changed? Like, it doesn't matter because she is a kind and gentle uh, human being that is adorned by all because, not just because of her looks, but because of all what she does and who she is but how would you feel in her shoes 
and how important, how important our looks when it comes to career and your self-esteem and your personal relationships. Like if something happened to change it, what would you do? Because there's obviously going to be a change and you're obviously going to have to cope with it. And I think she will cope with it with grace because she's a lady. <laughs> That's what ladies do. And I just want to know your thoughts on it. And I thank you for sitting here with me and taking time out of your day. Um, I will see you guys in the next one.